Amazon is the elephant in your room. What does this mean for you? It's a small room. It's not that big of a room, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it could fit everyone, though. <laughs> What does this change, you know, the fact that they're taking on their, you know, even more uh, of their own delivery services mean for you? Uh, it means we have to move even faster. So I, I feel like these days, um, if you do anything online, let alone, let alone sell stuff online, uh, you really have to control as much of the value chain uh, as you can. And so that's what we're doing. And so uh, between writing our own warehouse management software to now, as you see on the screen, uh, building our own autonomous guided vehicles within the facilities to make pick and pack even more efficient, uh, these are the things that retailers need to do today uh, in order to truly compete. Um, we sell uh, a different assortment than Amazon. We only sell large items, uh, a ton of B2B items, and we have a really big private brand but at the same time though we still stuff we still sell food online and if that's the case we have to be as efficient as possible so we're looking at your in-house robots these are powered by tesla batteries Amazon has robots in their warehouses too. How does what you have differ from what they have? Uh, for us, uh, it allows ultimate efficiency uh, customized for our business. On average, we sell close to 10 items per order. So a lot of the robots that you see in Amazon facilities, they're not able to really handle those orders well. So everything sits on a pallet. And so if you think about it, every single consumer order that we have, if you have 10 robots backed up for every pack table, uh, it just becomes, becomes untenable. So these robots, in effect, uh, uh, you know, go along almost like a train uh, and divert off only when they need something on any given pallet. So um, we've done millions and millions of dollars of, of, of automation, and this is our first foray into true automation that's built even the hardware uh, in-house. So what's the next step here? I know this is just the beginning for you, but do you see full end-to-end -end automation? I mean, what's next? Yeah, I don't, one day we're going to be so advanced that they can automate the CEO job, and so uh, I won't even have a job. <laughs> but for now, though, I think uh, it's really seeing uh, how efficient these, uh, these robots can really be for us uh, and also to, to find a, a potentially uh, in, even better kind of battery supplier. Uh, you know, the battery supply of these robots, we use Tesla batteries right now. Uh, they're good, um, and, you know, we're pursuing other potential partners partnerships uh, for folks that can give us even longer uh, charge cycles uh, for this fleet of carts that we're building.